Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. This is Simpy Kiwi. I'm doing a magnetic mani today with uh, all magnetic polishes. Let me show you the items that I'll be using and I'm going to be layering um, the stamping that I'll be doing. The first item I'll be using is of course my Queen latex tape around my cuticle area. The base color, which I've used two coats, which is Magnetic Force by Color Club, and it is the color Sci Fi. I love this color. I used this in another Manny that I did that was for magnetic polishes. These magnetic polishes are different than the last I used. This is the Magna Nails. Um, the color that I'm using is number four, Rose Quartz. And the next color I'll be using is also Magna Nails number two, Sapphire. And this comes in a set of four. There's a purple and then there's a um, blue, uh, purple and a green. Alright, I'm also going to be using, as you can see on my nails, a jewel on my index finger and my ring finger and this is uh, a holographic jewel I'll show you in a swatch at the end of the video you can see it better there see it better then excuse me um, but these are the rhinestones I'll be using and these are the round rhinestones all of these in this container I've uh, put in here they are all holographic uh, rhinestones so let me show you what I'll, oh, I forgot the plate that I'll be using. Um, also, I'm going to be using, excuse me, Wet n Wild, which is a uh, clear top coat. And then also I'm going to top it with uh, a quick drying top coat, which of course I use Sesh Feet. Then I also have my stamper. Uh, my Queen scraper and the plate I'm going to use is a Bonder Monster Bonder Monster no Born Pretty Plate L005 I'm gonna get it together y'all one of these days I'm gonna get it together and it is this plate here which I've used before and the image I'll be using is this image right here so let's get started with that And I'm going to start with the blue. And I've already got my liquid latex on my middle finger and my ring finger. So I'm going to start with the blue. magnet that I've used when I did my first application of the cup the first base color that I have here I um, once it's still wet I go ahead and apply my magnet at an angle to get that glassy cat eye as they call it cat eye look but this is the glassy cat eye look and um, then I topped it off with a clear top coat which is the wet and wild to seal in the um, the polish so the the image of the glass won't move as much because it does shift sometimes when you uh, allow it to dry then when it got a little bit dry I went ahead and put the top coat of sesh feet on top of that and so I can have that dry so I can stamp so let me go back now and apply this again uh, with the uh, with the blue which is the sapphire And let me go ahead and get those parts of it I don't need around the edges. And again, there's the image. 
and I'm going to go ahead and do it at an angle sideways okay there we go and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other nail same thing with this one I'm going to do it at an angle trying to roll it so you guys can see it all right and now I'm gonna go with the clean this off and go with the, the um, rose quartz Now with this image, I'm going to go the opposite way. So since I did this one majority to that side, I'm going to go this angle with it so it can kind of overlap. Let me go ahead and do the other nail. All right. And now again, I'm going to position it to the opposite way, the opposite direction of the other. So all of that can kind of overlap. Hope you can see that on camera. But if not, I'll show you in the swatch videos. And now I'm going to uh, get my tweezers to take up the uh, latex. Now I'm going to take the Wet n Wild, since I've already done it on my index finger on my left hand, I'm going to do it with my ring finger, and I just place a little dot here at the top, get my orange wood stick, and pick up that rhinestone. Trying to get the rhinestone to where I can pick it up on top. Here we go. It keeps turning over on me. Ah, okay, there we go. Well, it dropped. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it doesn't want to go on there, y'all. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a clear top coat on this other nail here so you can see the effects of the neodymium dimium I'm sorry I'm pronouncing it incorrectly neodymium magnet so I'm going to angle it this way and again, I just hold it for about 15 seconds or so. And you can see it gets a bit darker. And let's do this one before it dries. Let's see how it got a bit darker after I applied the magnet. And then I'm going to seal all of them off with sesh feet. I really like this manicure. I really love the magnets. I just love magnetic polishes. Um, 
they just give such a great dynamic to the to the manicure but let me know what you think in the comments section I'll link everything down in I'll enter I'll put everything down in the description box on what I've used um, again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time until then be blessed <laughs>